better Can Corey get. Mack do his job now as he takes on Antron Brown? We will have a first-time winner in top fuel here this weekend because neither Brown nor Corey Mack has won at this track. With Antron Brown in the second straight final after that win in Houston two weeks ago. Has his work cut out with Corey McClanathan. Corey has a very good car. But I tell you, don't ever count out Lee Beard and Antron Brown. Antron's doing a good job driving. Corey Mack. Corey Mack, 465, 315. Takes out Antron Brown and takes home the Wally. What a nice job by that team. I'll tell you, Corey's got to be pumped. He loves to win. I mean, make no mistake about it, but since Mike Green has come on board this year, he's been on fire cutting better lights, and I've seen him cut in a number of years. That's because he has that confidence in that entire team and that car, and for good reason. They're giving him a great race car, and he's making the most of it. Let's go to Dave Reed. Now down with Mike Green. Mike, you were a bit hung up a couple of weeks ago with the pain of diverticulitis. How do you feel after taking a win here back in Los Vegas. Well, it feels great, obviously. Yeah, I'm, I'm all healed up. I feel great. And, uh, you know, Corey just did a great job. The whole Fram team, uh, you know, thanks John, Don Schumacher for giving us the opportunity. You know, he drove great. The whole team did great. And we outran everybody every run except the first round. So we're, uh, we're elated. Got down a tricky racetrack in the finals. And that means Corey McLenathan is back in a winner's circle, Gary Gerald. Yes, he is. And the emotion that Corey always shows in such situations was just <laughs> boiling out of that cockpit. How good is this feel? Because you've had so much confidence all this season leading to this weekend. Well, it's one of those things when you haven't won for a while, you get hungry. Let me tell you. So, you know what? We were 12 to 1 odds coming here this weekend. So, Fram, Autolite, Bendix, you know, Prestone, Matco Tools, all these people that support you and have your back. DSR, Don Tumark, all my teammates, all the guys working on this car. Everyone at DSR's guys were working on this car. I'll tell you, from the people that, that make the stakes back there, to the girls that work in the office back home, this one's for all you guys. Lori Boats came on board this weekend, just in time, guys, just in time. So, Valvoline, Jags, everybody that's been on this car, thank you so much. Did you have part of those 12 to 1 odds? No, not a penny, but, oh. uh, <laughs> but I do want to say hi to Courtney, Jake, Connor, Tony, they're all at home, and my girlfriend, Debbie. Thanks. Congratulations. All right. Nice win for Corey McLennathan, becoming the 11th driver in Nitro history to have 30 wins or more. That's nice, Mike. Conrad Fuller was watching his teammate, Antron Brown, and was disappointed with that run, certainly because it didn't mean quite as much money into David Power Motorsports' pocket. Top fuel point standings, Corey McLennathan has moved up. He's now just 87 points back from the points leader, Tony Schumacher. And Larry Dixon's still behind, even though he went out in the first round by less than two rounds. So it's still pretty tight in the top fuel category up top. Uh, it sure is. Hey, he's that guy. You've got some? Had a chance to talk to Mike Green this morning at the hotel. I said, Mike, Corey Mack is 20 to one. Go place a bet. He said, you know, I'd rather look back on it and say, you know, I didn't make a bet, but I won the race. And that's really what matters. That's exactly what happened. And I guess Mike Green's psychic. Did you have Corey Mack at 20 to one? No, unfortunately not. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go down to the far end. Gary Gerald has Don Schumacher. It's been a, a crazy emotional day for Don Schumacher and his team, but you savor a victory now with Corey McLennathan and relatively new to your stable of talent. What's it mean to you to see him enjoy this success here in Las Vegas? This is fantastic for Corey and the whole Fram team. I mean, these guys have worked their heart out since the middle of last year or late last year when they came on board with me. Uh, they're a separate operation from my operation in a sense, but they run under my umbrella. It's my operation and my people and such, but they do a fantastic job. Corey is just a great ambassador to the sport, sure and the whole team just does a fantastic job. And Fram has supported NHRA for years and years and years, and they deserve this. And Corey coming up at this race after being runner-up at Pomona against the Army team and Tony, uh, this is just a fantastic job by he and that whole team. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Yeah, let's take a look because it is so pretty at Corey Max win. This time from the onboard, Mike. Not a whole lot wrong with this particular run. That thing was stuck right down the middle, had a cylinder out just before the finish line. But Corey McLennathan gets his 30th career victory.
So Corey McLenathan takes the win. He's happy about it. You can bet he's going to be celebrating over on the Las, Las Vegas Strip. And Mike Dunn, uh, we look ahead to Atlanta, the John Forrest story. What else are we looking for? Well, that's